Welcome back again to our advanced level Ninja Script programming. So um, we will try to cover on different you know, topics and objectives which we want to achieve during uh, this level. Before we go ahead and discuss them, I would uh, like to inform you because this session is going to be more interactive. So we will learn advanced knowledge of NinjaScript programming for NinjaTrader 8. Uh, we will also uh, initially um, mainly first half of this level, we will learn more about advanced level C sharp knowledge. We will um, also learn about, you know, how to identify and formulate different parts of a complex indicator strategy from an idea and custom program complex Ninja Trader indicator strategy with a supervision. So this is going to be really, really interesting in this level. So at the end, um, we will have few sessions where actually you will custom program your own indicator and strategy without our supervision. The first topic we will cover is about struct and you know the differences between a class and a struct. We'll learn about the concept of struct and you know different elements of struct and how to use them. And we will look at the main differences between class and a struct. Uh, after that, we will look into you know how to write to and read from a file. The knowledge of uh, knowing how to write to or read from a file. Um, using NinjaScript, this is this is quite helpful. Now, uh, this is uh, more like a C# -sharp concept, so inheritance in NinjaScript programming. So this is more C# -sharp. I will learn about this concept of inheritance and how to use them in your coding. And also, we want to uh, learn about you know advantages of using it in advanced level. We will have lots of work around buttons. I think this is the best time when we learn about, you know, how to add buttons, how to use them, you know, all the functionalities, all the operations, you can use them. So when we say add buttons to a chart, so consider if this is our chart, okay, if this is our chart window, so consider this is actually, uh, my drawing is not that great. <laughs> so this is basically the chart area where you get your, you know, price actions. So the topic uh, I, I was covering. So this is basically the buttons, adding buttons inside this chart area. Okay. We will add two custom buttons to a chart and we'll see uh, how to create custom method for button clicks. Like you have got the button on your chart, right now. You need to use that. And we will also see how to handle releasing resources at time-minute distance. And then definitely execute codes with button clicks. Now let's go to uh, our next topic. So it is again adding buttons, but this time it will be on to a chart window toolbar and how to use them. So, so if we have this chart window, and if this is actually the price section okay so consider this is your chart area but at the top you will see we have got a toolbar right so this topic will cover how to add button to this chart window toolbar and how to create custom method what happens if you do the button click how to handle releasing resources at the same time and also how to execute course with those button clicks if you consider we have got uh, the same chart window okay so we have got the chart area and we have got the toolbar at the top and on the toolbar, you have option to, you know, get your chart trader uh, panel up or down. So on, on the right, if you got the chart trader, you will see there are lots of buttons. So we will see on this topic, we will learn how to add buttons to chart trader and how to use them. So this level is going to be super interactive. So in advanced level, we will take it a bit further. This session, what will happen? we will break and custom indicator idea into logics and conditions. So probably we will use really, really good time on the first objective, which is to break and 
custom indicates that idea into logic and conditions because that is very important because if we get it wrong our program everything is going to be wrong instead of having a separate session for you know question and answer i thought it's going to be really really good whilst we actually do the coding okay then uh, during the coding period we will review the custom indicator script because whilst we are coding it and if we explain and answer your queries you will know what you're doing at the same time and also you will you will understand why we're doing it right so the next topic we will cover is going to be a uh, custom program strategy the concept is same but this time we will program a strategy but i can show you this is not going to be like the beginner level it's going to be more complex so we'll break down you know um, the idea into logics and conditions then program it test it debug it test it and continue like this and we will do actually the same so what we'll do we will try to program this strategy and whilst we're doing it we will try to you know explain answer queries it's going to be more interactive both way communication this is the unsupervised part of custom programming i am very excited about this one so what will happen we will provide you the idea you will do your programming at your own time and we will give you opportunity to discuss how you actually broke the idea into different small parts don't worry if you struggle with anything you, you, you we will discuss about how you have broke the idea into logics and conditions then uh, definitely probably there will lots of custom class or methods used by you and if, if you if you think there is a you know better way to do something you can share your class in methods you have used why you have used them so this is going to be really really interesting and all the suggestions uh, if if there's anything it could be done better or a different way uh, that is very much welcome and that is why we have kept this unsupervised um, in, in custom program indicator session sometimes if we need more time Time, maybe one hour 10 minutes we'll, we'll continue that but if we think we cannot finish in one one session if we need to cover it in a couple of sessions we'll do that because advanced knowledge cannot be you know uh, learned within a fixed you know fixed time so we don't want to rush we don't want to hurry rather we want to focus on your concept on your understanding on your practice because at the end of this advanced level we want you to have that level of knowledge within you so that you can improvise on it you can build on it so let's go to the strategy it's the same concept after we finish in you know, a custom program indicator we will provide you you know the idea of the strategy one thing i want to show you here there will be nothing in that idea we will not ask you to do something which we haven't taught you but if you've got any question from the beginner level we will try to answer them but also we will we will use the session uh if you have got any question about advanced level as well